Excellent! What's up guys? In my recent monthly builds video, as well as a couple other random build videos that I've done in the past, say, month or two, I have gotten a repeated question, and that is, Hey Paul, you mentioned this website, King Win or something like that, and you mentioned getting Windows 10 on the cheap. So I decided to make a video specifically about that. I'm going to walk you through my process of actually purchasing a Windows 10 license from KingWin.net. That's K-I-N-G. U-I-N, so like penguin with a king. Uh, it costs about 19 or 20 dollars US from there. Uh, I'm gonna go through the process of installing it on this, uh, the little computer that I built for my parents just recently. Uh, and, and hopefully you guys will learn a little bit of something and maybe find a new source for getting yourself a Windows license because Lord knows every time I put a new p computer together I don't necessarily want to drop another hundred bucks on getting Windows for it, but Windows in a lot of situations is just kind of required if you build your own computer. Linux and all that stuff, yes, we could get into that ar argument, but that's not what this video is about. Anyway, apart from a built computer without an operating system on it, you will need a uh, USB drive. Uh, I, I'm using an 8 gig one, but you need 4 gigs minimum. And I do recommend going with a USB 2.0. Go a little old school with this one. Don't get the newer USB 3 or 3.1 drives, uh, just for compatibility's sake. Stick with USB 2 and uh, I'll show you how to get that installed in just a second. Now I should give full disclosure here uh, about my association with kingwin.net. Uh, there is none. I, I don't know anyone there apart from following them on Twitter recently. This is not paid or anything like that. Uh, I was originally introduced to kingwin.net through the website called fast to play fast number two play, which is a website I was introduced to by my friend Steve, who likes to buy video games on the cheap. Anyway, Fast2Play was purchased or acquired or merged with KingWin.net, so as I was going to Fast2Play to like buy cheap games, I was redirected here, and I've discovered that they also have Windows licenses. So if you just go and search for Windows, you can find, uh, well, they'll have varying licenses available. I'm sure they have stock um, that comes and goes and all that kind of thing. But look at look here, Windows 10 Professional OEM Key. This is the one I'm going to be getting. It's $19 right now. If you are shopping here, bear in mind some of these things like worldwide. You will want to pay attention to the, the where the software is eligible. Um, so definitely make sure it's got that worldwide, worldwide indicator. Unfortunately, all these Windows licenses do. And also, hey, if you don't want Windows 10, they've also got Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1. And um, if you do get 7 or 8 or 8.1, you will be able to, you'll almost be forced to upgrade to Windows 10 eventually. But um, that is a way, if you want to start off with something that you're a bit more familiar with and then upgrade to Windows 10 in the future, you can do that. Um, I do want to point out here a significant difference here between what an OEM key is and what a retail key is. Not that I can click and drag these or anything like that, but OEM is original equipment manufacturer. And basically if you buy an OEM key, you are saying that I, and the manufacturer of this uh, of this computer, which I am comfortable doing. If you guys are a little bit worried, or if it's your first time, or if you just want to make sure that if something happens in the future, uh, you might consider paying that extra 20 bucks or so to get yourself a retail key. The main difference that I've found between the OEM and retail key is going to be in the future. If you ever make a hardware change or an update or something like that, if you have an OEM key and you try to contact Microsoft for uh, assistance with activation, they will probably not help you. They'll say, go to your system manufacturer, and you'll be like, I am the system manufacturer, and then they'll be like, well, you should be able to solve your own problem then. Um, if you ever have had a situation with a Windows license deactivating or something like that, calling in or using the automated lines uh, for, for activation is not that difficult, but it is much more much more effective with a retail key. I haven't even really tried it with an OEM key. Now, if you're super nervous about buying a Windows license for $20, you're like, this can't, this just can't be legit. Drop an extra dollar and nine cents on the Kingwin buyer protection, and um, that will allow you to, you know, if you try to activate it and it says don't work, then, uh, you know, Kingwin will, will support you and give you a refund, hopefully, something like that. Anyway, uh, oh look, add-on items. That's pretty common in websites. Moving right along to our checkout. Anyway, uh, let me go through checkout, guys. I'll be right back. So I was able to check out with PayPal. My total was like $20.88. Uh, and then after the transaction goes through, you get an email uh, letting you know it's OK. You can go to the Kingwin website, and then you go to your games, and then you click on Show the Key. And I have the key already over here. I'm not going to show you guys the key. It's my key. Um, but then you can also either go straight to the Microsoft website, or if you go to the um, activation instructions on Kingwin, it will redirect you over here to actually download Windows 10. Um, I don't want to upgrade now. I want to create a USB DVD or ISO. Um, so we want to, what, what do we do here? 
read all this information and make sure you have what you need and then you're going to download a tool and that will help you to create your media uh, the media creation tool.exe I'm just going to go ahead and open that and oh god okay it's fine everything's fine um, and then this will uh, pop you into this Windows 10 setup thing and um, Again, I'm not going to show you guys all of the gritty details for this, but basically uh, take your USB drive and plug it into a USB port. Okay, so we'll, uh, we'll definitely accept these license terms. Did I mention at the beginning when I was telling you guys what you needed for this that you do need another computer, a separate working computer to make this? Um, yeah, I, I probably should have mentioned that, but uh, hopefully it goes without saying. Anyway, create installation media for another PC. Language, edition, architecture, sure. Yeah, we definitely want 64-bit. Don't go 32, go 64. Uh, use recommended options. Okay, sure, yeah, recommended options, that's fine. Uh, we're doing it on a USB flash drive, so we'll hit next. Uh, we will select the flash drive, it's the only one connected, hit next again, and then it's gonna go through the uh, procedures for making the Windows 10 installation media. Uh, I'll let this go and I'll be right back. All right, we've hit 100%. USB flash drive is ready. Uh, it took maybe 15 to 20 minutes all told. That was to download and set up the USB drive, and that's going to depend based on your downloads or very based on your your download speeds. I'm just going to hit finish. And uh, lastly, well, not lastly, but next, I'm going to switch over here so I can start capturing what's going on in this system. So I'll be right back. I'm also going to well, I can do this. Grab the actual USB drive and plug it into this system into a USB 2.0 port, not a USB 3.0, again. USB 2.0, in my experience with Windows installations, leads to less complications. I don't know if that's the fact, if that's the same with Windows 10 or not, but um, I'm just gonna do it. I lost audio while I was recording this next part, but here's how things happened. I was able to boot up the system without having to go into the BIOS and change the boot device, which was nice, and went straight to the USB and then went to the Windows 10 installer. The Windows 10 installer will ask for that product key right up front. Fortunately, my new key worked just fine to move on with the installation process. On this next menu, I will always choose Custom Installation, and I like to delete any existing partitions off of the drive that I'm installing to. Now another 10 to 15 minute wait while files copy over and then an automatic reboot. After that you go through the Windows 10 setup procedures. Um, fortunately the system rebooted itself and uh, went and booted straight off of the SSD as it should have. Uh, I did go into the advanced setup procedures to pretty much turn off as much tracking stuff as I possibly could. And um, here's a big, big shout out to uh, my friend Jerry, aka Barnacles. If you guys really want to dig into the Windows 10 settings and get rid of a lot of the Windows 10 spying stuff or just activity tracking and monitoring and, and that kind of thing, uh, I will link his video in the description as well so you can check that out and uh, get Windows 10 set up a little bit more precisely uh, to, to root out some of those um, uh, Windows is watching you type features. Anyway though, after another minute or two of final setup stuff, just like that Windows 10 is installed. Since my main question here is whether or not this key will activate, I'm going to pull up the activation settings right away. And only now will I actually plug in the internet to this new computer. Windows will automatically activate if there is an internet connection, so without me doing anything, the message updated that Windows had activated as soon as the internet connection appeared. It looks like my KingWin OEM key is legit the moment of truth that was the like will this work or won't it that's this computer with that key I just purchased connecting to the Windows servers and Windows servers saying hey you're good to go uh, with your Windows 10 Pro OEM key for 20 bucks so hey I'm happy with that it seems to have worked right off the bat um, even though I got cables running in front of me let me I uh, mentioned a couple closing thoughts here before I, I finish out this video. Um, one is I uh, learned that kingwin.net is uh, based in Hong Kong I don't know if that's important or not. Uh, two would be an alternative cheap Windows uh, purchasing solution that I have used in the past is uh, Reddit's, uh, the subreddit Microsoft Software Swap, where you can also get very inexpensive um, uh, just, just installation keys for not just Windows, but also uh, like Microsoft's Office Suite and that kind of thing. I've used that before, um, it worked good for me for Office. However, I had two systems that I got Windows keys for, one Windows 7 and one Windows 8, that deactivated like months later. So I went through this, it activated, it said it was fine, and then months later, suddenly I got a message, hey, your key is invalid. 
I did contact the guy on Microsoft Software Swap, the swap that I got it from. It was just, it was a person rather than a company like kingwin.net. So anyway, that's why I've gone this route rather than that route, although that route is, um, is also viable, I guess. But I don't know, I feel a little bit safer doing this and also doing that little, you know, $1 for a uh, buyer protection as well. So that if this did have a problem, you could go right back to kingwin.net. The final thing uh, I checked out, just looking a little bit closer at the kingwin.net website, is actually these keys are sold by third parties. So Kingwin is kind of acting like an Amazon marketplace seller, and these sellers are selling the keys through it. So there's actually a bunch of uh, sellers of these keys who had them listed for 20 bucks each, um, which means that you know you're getting them from different locations. But Kingwin seems to be standing behind them, and again, you know, pay a dollar for that uh, buyer protection, and I think you'll be all set to go. Anyway guys, I hope you've learned a little bit uh, from this video, whether it's about the general procedure for installing Windows 10, or maybe just a much less expensive means of getting Windows 10 versus paying the 8200 bucks buying it at retail. Again, consider those retail keys that are available for say 40, -ish, or 40 to $50. If you do want a little bit of more back-end support from Microsoft, uh, but I think OEM in this case is going to do just fine. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching this video. Hope you appreciated it. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Check out my store if you want to buy uh, Paul's Hardware shirts, mugs, or glasses. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.